thought I would show you how to set up the Wi-Fi remote for your Canon Vixia. And I'm going to try to concentrate on just one task in each video. So this iPad does not have it on here yet. So I'm going to show you right from a blank slate. So you want to go to your app store. And then, then up here is the search. And then put in Canon so we can see what obstacles we run into. So I'm going to put cam, Canon camera access. C-C-E-S-S. -S. No results for Canon camera access. Now I think that is because it might not even be a Canon app. Why isn't it a Canon app? Okay, here it is. <laughs> this is crazy. Why, if I search for Canon camera access, does it not come up? So I just took out the word Canon, and here it is. It's camera access by Pixela Corporation, P-I-X-E-L-A, camera access. You're going to click on this little download thing, and I think it's downloading. While that little circles, okay, now it says open. Now we've opened it up. It's telling me camcorder is not connected. Check if the camcorder is properly connected and powered. So what they're telling you is to go into your camcorder. So this next part is not report recorded with this camera. I'm going to record it with an iPad or an iPhone. And so it might not be the greatest quality. What I'm showing you here is how to turn on the Wi-Fi on the camera. So what you're going to do here is you're going to press the little home button here. You're going to go all the way to the very far right option and that is remote control plus streaming. Use smartphone as a remote control and record with the camera or smartphone. You're going to touch that. Okay, so now it's turned on and ready to be paired with your iPad or iPhone. I don't have an Android device. Let's set this aside. Then you're going to go here to your iPad. You're going to go into settings and you're going to choose Wi-Fi over here and then it's going to search for all the wireless devices and uh, wireless networks available. So right now I'm connected to my home network, but here's Bixia's dash some numbers. If it doesn't show up here when you've already turned it on on your camera, this has worked for me when it didn't show up. Go to anything else here, notification center, general, anything. Then go back to Wi-Fi and it forces it to search again. So here's the Vixia. I'm going to click on that Vixia. Enter password for the Vixia. So it's asking for the password that's showing up on this screen here. So you're going to put in the password a series of numbers. It's the bottom number. The other one you'll use for another app, the SSID, but it's just the bottom numbers. And then join. So now you've got a check mark next to Vixia and it says connected. So now you're, you're hooked up to your Vixia. Now I'm back here at my settings. I'm connected to Vixia. So I'm going to go back to my home screen. Now you're going to go to that app that you downloaded called Pixela Camera Access. Click that. Canon Vixia R HF R40 is showing up, whereas before it gave you this information about how to connect your camera. If it doesn't show up here, hit refresh and it should show up. Then you're going to hit that. And now you're seeing what the camera is seeing. So now zoom out, zoom out, medium. You can see the delay. So I don't really like the delay. It's a little difficult for me to get used to. And sometimes I want the zooming in and zooming out in my video. I don't, I don't like it to be so choppy, which it, it usually ends up being. But I don't want to cut all that out. I just want a smooth, seamless video as much as I can. So that's one reason I don't really like this. And you can change the buffer size. It's at 1.5 seconds. Let's put it down to 0.5 seconds. And let's see if that helps matters. Let's zoom in medium. Zoom in all the way. Now I'm not recording right now but I could be. So let's hit record. I can record to the SD card or let's see if I can record simultaneously to the mobile device. Yes, now it's recording according to my camera SD card and it's recording at the same time to my mobile device which is this iPad. So that's pretty cool. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom all the way out. Okay, so there you have it. So it's just hard for me to accept this delay. Let's try it again. This just really doesn't work for me. 
Um, maybe it would work for other people. I wouldn't say I hate it. It's just I thought I would have the option to use an infrared remote control. When I close this camera door, let me see if it's still connected. Camera access would like to access your photos. It's just saying it wants to save what it just recorded to your iPad. If you say don't allow, it's not going to save what you just recorded. So I'll say okay. So now because I've closed the door on this, it's no longer connected. So once you connect it, always keep that open. But it's pretty neat because you can use it almost like a security device. Set it out facing the pool. You can either record or watch what's happening in the backyard or at your front door if you have it faced out in front. So that's pretty cool.